Hey, it's Ben from Orchard. If your iPhone is acting up, you may need to turn it off, restart it, or force restart it. But what's the difference and when should you do each? Before we dive in, here's a quick breakdown. For turning off, this powers down your phone completely. Use this to save battery, protect it from extreme heat or cold, or when storing your device away. A restart or soft reset, this is the easiest fix for slow performance, app glitches, or minor software issues. A force restart or a reboot, use this when your phone is frozen or unresponsive, and a factory reset erases everything. Use this when you're selling your phone or as a last resort for troubleshooting. So how do you turn off your iPhone? Well, there's two methods. The first one using the buttons. Press and hold the main side button here and either one of the volume buttons at the same time until the slider appears. Drag that slider across. Wait till the screen goes completely black and you're good. Now method two, if your buttons are stuck or just not working for some reason, you're gonna wanna go through the settings. So click settings, scroll down a bit to general, scroll all the way down and you'll see this shut down button. All you gotta do, hit that, the slider appears, slide that across, boom. Again, wait till that screen goes completely black and you're good to store your iPhone away or save some battery or protect it from extreme cold, extreme heat, cooling off your phone on those really hot days. Now a soft reset for your phone. This is the best first step for fixing slow performance, software issues, app crashes. The first part here is the exact same as turning off your iPhone, whether it's through the buttons or that shutdown button in the settings we just talked about. Do either one of those methods. I'll press and hold the buttons here, turn it off, and then you just wanna wait 30 seconds and then turn it back on by just holding the side power button here. Your phone boots back up and it should hopefully be back to normal, fixing any software or performance issues you are having. Now how to force restart your phone and give it a full reboot. Use this if your iPhone's completely frozen or unresponsive. This one requires a little bit of timing and coordination, so get ready. What you wanna do is press the up volume button and then press the down volume button and then press and hold the side power button. So up volume, down volume, press and hold the side and keep holding it. So here we go. Up, down, press and hold. This will pop up, don't worry about it, don't slide it across, just keep holding that side power button and just keep holding it. It'll turn off, keep holding it, and then the Apple logo appears, you can let go. And then it has turned off and started back up all on its own. And there you go, go back into your phone, just like normal, hopefully it's not frozen anymore. Now for a factory reset, really only do this if you're selling your phone or it's your last resort for troubleshooting, but you wanna make sure you back up all your data before because this is gonna erase everything off your phone. Look out for a tutorial on backing up your phone. Hop on over into settings, scroll down, go to general. And if you scroll down, you should see transfer or reset iPhone. Press that, erase all content and settings. Erase this iPhone, go continue. Are you sure you want to erase all media content and settings? This cannot be undone. You wanna click that button if that sounds good to you. Sounds pretty good to me, so we'll hit erase iPhone. And this screen will pop up and it will just sort of do its thing. This loading bar will fill out. The screen may go black and then turn back on again. And there, it says hello to you. You have a fresh, basically new iPhone. I hope this helped. If you're ever looking for amazing pre-owned iPhones, check out getorchard.com for the best deals.